fish too big for the net. <laughs> this is a story about four brothers, two twin brothers, Randy and Brad, and Brad's two sons, Jack and Nick, going on the adventure of a lifetime. We had to make two float plane trips to Good News Lake based on weight restrictions, so I went first with Nick to uh, look at campsites, and then Randy and Jack followed later. One of Jack's famous comments was looking down at Good News Lake on the approach and looking at all the red things in the water, saying to the pilot, hey, what are those buoys down there for? And the pilot says, some of those were fish. Now it's real. We've been dropped off and we're trying to find a suitable campsite, but the problem is, is that there are bear signs everywhere. The first 24 hours we saw 25 brown bears. They were up at the lake uh, fishing for the sockeye and also the wild blueberries that were perfectly ripe. So exciting to have my two boys up on this trip with me uh they both have really gotten into fly fishing and here's nick with his beautiful casting motion bang lots of fish and here's the first silver salmon of the week caught by brad and we were so excited The weather was kind of cold, about 35 at night and 50 during the day, so the fires were a welcome addition every day. Water was really clear during the trip uh, and only a few very low spots where we had to get out and push a little bit, but for the most part, no problem at all traversing the uh, Good News River. Brought my drone along for the trip, but couldn't use it during the first four or five days when we were in the wilderness refuge, but it sure gave us some awesome views. So fishing was great up near the lake for the first couple days and then slow for the middle couple days until we got to the silver salmon and then slow water down towards the lower um, part of the Good News River where we absolutely banged them. Here Randy's catching a really nice one. First silver. Yes. 
This particular fish was a female, so we really enjoyed that caviar, and Nick cooked up a special dish for caviar. us that we thoroughly enjoyed. What do we call this concoction? We saw lots of bears, but this is probably our closest encounter. We woke up one morning at a beautiful spot at the mouth of a creek, and right across the, the river, we saw this huge brown bear uh, run across the stream. This is a typical campsite right off the river on gravel sandy beach. What are we doing there, Johnny? We got a toilet paper fire? I thought your sleep system was dialed. Yeah, well, I wasn't prepared for 32 degrees. That's not a bad view in the morning. Sun rising, and it is cold this morning. The light here is incredible. You can see the beaver house in the uh, distance, and we had three bears pop up in the brush, stand up, see us, and go the other direction. Quite an experience. We caught all our silvers on uh, either Dalai Lamas or egg-sucking leeches. Pink and purple were good. Up top, we caught a lot of the Dalis and the rainbows, uh, lake trout, etc. on beads. The views on the Good News River are incredible. Mountains ringing both sides of the river, the braided sections all the way down to the bay. Uh, weather is pretty good for the most part, just incredible. <laughs> Should have started a quote book at the beginning of this. Hey.
Is Dave going to bring us our resupply of whiskey? Have we changed the message? Yeah, he hasn't said shit. He hasn't said anything? It's Avery we're talking to. still have hope that we're going to absolutely bang the silvers. <laughs> I blow up in three puffs. <laughs> Convenient, incredibly comfortable, easy to take down. Sleeping bag is, is really comfortable. Has some air. Look at the colors on this dolly and then the male sockeye. Yeah. Love this photo from Nick. He has such a wonderful eye for taking photos. This rack from a moose was literally sitting on top of a rock in the middle of the river. We saw lots of eagles during the trip, and Randy's zoom camera sure was sweet to capture the images. Our biggest disappointment of the week was not bringing enough whiskey. We ran out after three days. Yep, Alaskan reindeer rotini. <laughs> Read it again, Nick. We'll pay for alcohol. And I think the last sentence could use some help. Avery, please forward to Dave. Would love to take you up on the airdrop. Fishing has been tremendous. Whiskey shortage has presented a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pay for alcohol and you to come spend a day. Please pray for our livers. We'll see you soon. Cause is, cause is not an issue. They will do a flyby. <laughs> Does it get any better than this? The man landing his first big fish in Alaska. Pure joy. Don't move back. Okay, reel a little bit and raise. From the tail. Yeah. Okay. We had one fish, one silver salmon during the week, but released everything else.
probably 15 inches. This is a dolly pole. Oh. Alright, bring more to me. Nick with a silver. This is what we call a silver salmon sleigh rod, uncontrollable in the alpaca. We were picked up by Roy, our native guide, and transported all the way to the Good News Bay Airport. Here we are celebrating the completion of our adventure in the Anchorage Airport.